Hi guys, we're back again today. We've uh, come back to the uh, the head. It's been a couple of days now instead of just one day like what I thought. Uh, leaving the head um, upside down and the gas with the valves and such. Um, I went down to the shop, like I said, and I bought some 2000 grit sandpaper. It's pretty cheap stuff, nice and uh, it's very, very, very fine. So that's what I'm gonna be sanding the head down with today. So let's pull it out and see how, how she looks. Of the gas has evaporated it's gonna happen so it's quite low now you guys remember how cool it was when i put it in there let's see if this worked very well for us okay let's go ahead and open that all up all right so this has just been sitting in the gas i haven't done anything to it so this has just been sitting in the gas i haven't done anything to it let's see what happens when I just take the rag to it just a little bit look at that guys just one wipe that's why I want to use the gasoline let's have a look at that little bit right over there that I've just wiped soaking it in gas we don't I don't know if it's if it's gonna work out for the uh, yeah for the um, other side that I showed you had all the rust in it but we'll see in just a couple of seconds so just like I thought, it's just loosened the carbon up a little bit, but not enough to get it all off and wipe it with a cloth. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take some of this uh, water paper over here, I'm going to break a piece of it out. I'm going to go ahead and sand it um, like you would try and sand a piece of wood to make it smooth. Before I do though, what I want to do is I don't want to leave any scratches in the cylinder head here, because if you do, then that's not going to be very good. It's not going to give you a proper seal on your gasket, your valves aren't going to work properly and such. So what I'm going to do is just take some water, that's why I call it water paper, I'm going to wet this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in there with the sandpaper and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Alright, so we're back after cleaning her up quite a lot. Um, not quite factory fresh, but you know about as good as, it's what, as what it's going to get. The most important bits are the bits that we cleaned is where the valves came in and out. Look at how nicely they were able to move now. That's, I think that's your in valve. This is your out valve, I think. Yeah, that's right. This is your outlet valve. There we go. Let's push that up and down. This one doesn't quite move as nicely as the other one. Maybe I should polish that out a little bit more. But I mean, look, we've cleaned it up nicely. That's not coming off. As long as the back's pretty much sealed up nicely so that the um, valve can seal onto the head itself. And it's going to be able to do its job this one came nicely clean i think this was the one that just had oil and stuff on it so that was quite nice to clean up very easy it just pops right in there i uh, polished the top of the head up as much as what i could too you see i mean it's, it's looking like an engine part again I'm trying to keep this as smooth as possible that's what the water paper is for so when the gaskets come back on they can seal properly and uh, cleaning the inside of the head out as much as possible and then I went a little bit crazy on the uh, sandpaper on the outside of it too, trying to get as much dirt off as possible. It actually still looks like a motorcycle when I am done. So that's great. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it all back together. It's pretty much in the reverse of what we did before. So I'm going to go and put these valves back in. One goes in there, bang. The other one goes in there. And then of course we're going to have to turn this over. I'm going to put something under it like so. I have to put these little bits back in. The little bits that I showed you came out of the magnets. So I'm still holding them together with a magnet over there. And I have to put these valve springs back in. Uh, where are they now? Oh, I think that's the last thing I actually haven't cleaned. Let's see how they came out of the gas. Here they are. Alright. They turned out of the gas. So this is a good example. I mean, I can tell which one is dirty, but only barely. So, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe these down. The dirt came right off of them. And then I'm going to go ahead and reseat them and put them all back in exactly like what I showed you how to take them out. So, uh, then that's the head done for today. Okay, so I just wiped the valve springs down. They're back in now. Um, you'll see what I've got to do now. The, uh, the valve seat, which is this right over here, has got to go in and push right in over here. Of course, to get these two little metal bits that we uh, had in the middle, they're sitting right over here. I'm going to have to remove them push the valve seat in and then push those two bad boys in together. A lot of guys say that you need a, uh, a valve tool for this, a valve compressor tool. I'm going to try and do it without the tool again. We'll see if we can get it back in. As you know, it was uh, quite successful getting it out, but uh, let's see how we do getting it back in. Press this down as far as what I can. Let's see if I can bring this valve up at all. Uh, 
but that's pretty much in the position it's going to be. So I've got to press this down and I've got my little metal bits sealed over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that right in one shot like that and then I'll let the spring go and then that should grip the um, it should grip in the little point of the valve that it's supposed to grip in that little recess. So let's see if that works. Hmm, this is magnetized now too. Might want to go with a screwdriver then from the other side. I'll try and compress her down. This might work better. This is pretty much what a valve compressor tool does anyway, except it's going to be like, I mean, I'd like to grip it right there and press it down, but then of course I'm not going to be able to get these little bits in, so that's no good. Maybe a second screwdriver. Oh no, just like uh, Murphy's Law, where are the bits that you need when you need them? Okay, let's try pliers from the other side. That way I can hold them both open. Hold that open, squash it on down. It looks like that might actually work. It's a piece of gasket. See, these springs aren't very strong, so. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and try and put this in. Oh. I should have these in the ready position so that I can get them in as quickly as what I as what I need to. putting the head back together um, I would definitely recommend looking for a valve compressor tool for anyone that's uh, gonna do this it was a lot of frustration for me to do um, pushing these two little bad boys down was really hard on this side um, which is the that's the inlet side the inlet is nice and straight so I was able to take a G clamp put that in there and tighten it all up and I was able to pop these in um, on the other side you're able to get nice leverage over here on the wall and press it on down like so just by wrenching up right but now the problem with that is you've got to get them both in at the same time it's hard to do and what happens is the springs when they compress they don't come straight down like so they actually end up bending so if you're compressing the spring from the top to the bottom the spring ends up bending and then you can't get the seats in properly so <clears throat> i had to make a little tool as you can see if you have fashioned it out of a butter knife and i made the holes just big enough over here you'll see that they go over I just did that over there so they go over those little seats like so and then what I did was I was able to press this on down I'm not going to do it now because I don't want those things to pop out again press it on down and then uh, use a g-clamp on the other side so that the spring then compressed straight and didn't bend and that way I was able to get the seats in so quite a little trick because uh, you really need three hands to do that but um, got it done anyway that's how you get the head back together then uh, today I also got a hold of another tool. I was quite lucky to be able to borrow this one. It's called the piston honer. Um, all you do is you uh, go ahead and um, stick this, you just compress all of these up like so. And then what you do is you go and stick that inside of your piston sleeve like so into, into your cylinder sleeve. And then uh, you attach it to a drill, which I also was lucky enough to borrow today. So uh, yeah, there we go and then uh, you just let the drill turn on over and these little sanding pads go ahead and sand your piston nice and flat uh, sorry the uh, the walls there so i had some horrible pits and things inside but you can see now she's nice and nice and clean guys don't over hone your pistons because that's essentially uh over boring the piston uh, the, the the piston sleeve and if you do that then you won't get good compression for your piston head because your piston head will be smaller then will be your piston sleeve so i made sure just to do a little bit all right so that was all the heads today we're going to be putting those back together pretty soon i'll show you which gasket set i bought i've been shopping for one of those in my next video i will post the link thanks guys keep watching